right, baby, let's start this off with some good luck. Let's start this off with some good luck. Everyone deserves a little good luck. We're going to start off this time space void video with good luck by going here, doing a free summon. Let's let's start this off on some good luck. We're doomed. <laughs> What's going on guys it is your boy cash and we are here with a time space video but since i did come to here uh, as a joke uh this is these are one of the banners guys just a heads up that you pretty much want to avoid as i stated in other videos um you want to save your crystals for new characters not just because of advents but because they're new characters they're going to add a lot more to the to the dynamic to your team these banners you summon all on them and you can technically get these in these SSR tickets and things of that nature. So you don't, you know, you'll eventually, yeah. Matter of fact, look, look, let's, I, let's test my luck again, right? I'd have an SSR ticket. Just, just, to, just to further point, I, watch me get one of the characters that's on that banner. Like, it's, it's really uh, important that you guys save your crystals for new characters over older characters that are not that you can technically get in these tickets that they give out a lot. And what do we get? I didn't get one of the characters that was on there, but. <laughs> <laughs> it's just an example, you know, you don't really have to um, do these. Always get new characters, it's just the way the game works, I'm just saying. Alright, here we go. Like I was going to say, this is part of the Nice Chronicles content creator program, and specifically why, obviously, it's going to be the Wind, Time, Space, Void. I don't think we've done this one yet. If I realize that I did, I you probably won't hear this conversation because I'm just going to cut it. Um, I... I <laughs> I feel like we have so much DPS, I might not need Nemesis. Nemesis is on BS runes anyway, but uh, I'm going to bring in the, the safety rune just in case. And we're just going to be bringing in overwhelming damage and just hope that that works out. And we'll see where it uh, starts to not work out. So, of course, as we guys as you guys know from this little series that I started, um, I'm, I'm a little late because I've just been trying to figure out the Arachnia dungeon. Not as much as I know that... I can get a really easy clear uh, with the double Momo, but at the same time, I want to, you know, see other things uh, that I think, I still think that single target is not necessarily the way to go in the dungeon, but the way to go in the dungeon might be like actually having at least one multi attacker in there, like Britain. So I've been kind of working on that. I'll probably get like one clear in and then maybe work on some other clears. It's just kind of hard to play so many games <laughs> at the same time. So let's talk about the actual strat that we're using here. It's called damage. I hope you guys like the like the strat. Oh, okay, so they got some damage on their side too. But we do have a reviver, and there's not that many wind characters that have anti-revive, so I'm pretty safe that, to think that Rue will be safe. I know the first one here is Ruby, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Ruby. They can pretty much kill her straight out. But see how much damage she does? Dead. Oh, wait, 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 gotta make sure. We're... Oh, well, she goes next. But she can still not revive because this game. Oh, they have Jackal in there too. Interesting. There we go. Ruby doing the Lord's damage. <laughs> Jesus, that damage, man. Because of the whole opposite element thing in the, in the dungeon. It's like you have to bring in their opposite element to do damage, but then their boss can do more damage to you because it's this, uh, whatever. Um, all right, so that's going to be 16, nice and easy. Yeah, but it's only the boss stage that does that. So it's Ruby, 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 and the last two is always a more harder boss. Now, let's try to guess this. Oh, God, Ian. Wait, didn't I? I think I did do this one. Let me put in the put in the, uh, the comment section below. Uh, cash... Uh, Hashtag cash amnesia. I can't remember if I finished this or not because some of them I started and then I would just stop. Oops. <laughs> I just I just let Nikita die. Uh Alright, by accident I let Nikita die like a dumb dumb. Um sometimes I'm just like a deer in the headlights and I'm not really paying too much attention to uh like who's actually like oh who died and there's like Nikita and then it happened so fast uh Leafa wouldn't be too bad 
Would be nice to get the new Damien in there. That'd be cool. All right, here we go. Just switched it up, added in Sid, took Electra. I actually should just take her out in general because she's not really ruined. Not that I can remember. Ah, she has some stuff. Why not? We'll bring it in there. We just need to pass this part. Got two revivers because they're one-shotting all my attackers that do, like, no damage. <laughs> um, but, yeah. So far, it's just that one stage, the boss just one-shots. It's just the nature of the business. Okay, scratch that. You need anti-revive. <laughs> I just did, like, a long uh, match, and it was just obnoxious. I'm just going to bring in the anti-revive. She's not really ruined. Oof. All right, we'll just try Morgan. I know she's somewhat ruined, right? Oh, uh, 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 and I'll use her instead of oh god, um, instead of her. I like the burn comp that we have going on, but I, I just need I need a little bit more um, reliancy. Nemesis would be better, but she I'd have to be reviving her every two seconds. I don't feel like doing that. Yep, this is what I remember. So this is why I know I didn't finish it, right? So, Ramu, it's hard to kill Ramu because Ian keeps protecting her and then Ramu keeps reviving and her passive in this mode heals like everyone to full. Now I remember. Oh my god, she just keeps healing them back to full. Uh, oh my god, I need to snipe a target. Finally killed that guy, man. Finally killed him. Oh, man. he uh, That's like the worst combo. Got to get him out of there somehow. Luckily, uh, when you use Roy's S2, it bounces to everyone. So he just takes a lot of damage when you do that. Finally broke through. Woo! Man, oh, man. It's so annoying. <laughs> it's so annoying. Uh, I shouldn't I should not let Nikita die because she would have just been doing an insane amount of DPS and stunning uh, Ramu at the same time That was a burp and stunning Ramu at the same time So I don't know why I let her die I, I completely forgot the dynamic of the the dungeon pretty much because I left it on auto to not really know like what characters were coming in and not Oh Yeah, I remember now so on this stage this last day this is what I think I failed this and I didn't record it or whatever um, what happens here is that the protection buff from Ian goes on Ruby <laughs> and then you can't really snipe her out because you have nothing to either like a like AoE strip or something like that uh, only one that could do that is like Ruby so like I remember having so much difficulty doing this and I think I never recorded the video because of that so now you just use that buff what I'm gonna have to do is go here Hopefully we get the revive on dead proc and then Roy will finish him off. And we did get it and then the S2 should do it. Wait, what? Oh, he's not bleeding anymore? What the hell? He was uh, not bleeding, he was on fire before. Yeah, that sucks. Now he might get cleansed away, damn it. Oh, he's so close! Yes! I think, I'm pretty sure he died with the, the anti-revive buff. Woo! That was some dangerous stuff. And I don't actually, again, I don't, like, I didn't pass this part. I know for a fact. Even if I did the video before, I know I didn't pass Ruby. Because I have no idea, again, who, like, who's after Ruby. But, guessing how, so, fire was... Fire at the fire was... God, I already forgot. <laughs> it was Leafa into... Into someone else. I couldn't think. I know Dandy was water. And I, I forgot my... Wait, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. I anti-revived him. Did he cleanse it? Because he was low health? Oh my god, he cleansed it because he was low health. Please. Yes. Oh, baby. That feels so good. All right, guys. Terrible uh, choices. Don't make my decisions. Uh, you definitely, and this is this is actually not even the last the, the last two fights. So definitely need some anti revive. I really should just. I might level up Nemesis. That's an option. Aiming is an option. Um, 
Oh, yeah, now we need to really use, uh, what's it called? Uh, your thing. Three turns. Oh, my God. Uh, I need Roy. He can attack. Ah, okay, we got everybody out. Jeez, bad decisions, bad decisions, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so I'm gonna make an executive decision here and we're gonna bring in Eamon. Uh, I think that it's just gonna be able to snipe out a little bit better. I think this is enough DPS. We have anti-revive if we need it. I can switch Morgan out possibly for somebody else, but I think we're gonna need some anti-revive here. Uh, sorry, insta-kill on the reviver and possibly anti-revive. You know, we, we'll see. I think it's bet talk between Eamon and Morgan, seeing who needs to be there and who doesn't. So now the person that they're hyper protecting is Jacqueline, which is in interesting. We're gonna lock her down. She's gonna ult, she can't help it. There we go. Amen, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, it's so good. Oh my god, what I, what have I been doing this entire series not using Amen on people that I know are alting? Just high class mistakes. Bring in Eamon. You should have like eight of them by now. Just bring them in. Oh my god, look at them. They're so annoying. All right, so. Oh no. I wanted to save that for the next round. All right, I hope you guys are ready. Here we go. We're going into the last stage of stage 18. And it's time to figure out who. Well, not figure it out. It's time to, you know, see who it is. I couldn't figure out, I was thinking, I, I really honestly couldn't figure out a, uh, a new wind, like, thing, like, Junia, Amelia, like, I don't know, I couldn't think of it, I really couldn't, let's see what they got, wait, it is Kali, why, w why, I don't understand why it would be Kala. She is a, she's an Advent dungeon already. But that's actually not that bad, especially if Ian's not here. I'll take Cordelia over Ian any day. Wow. 
Word. You ain't gonna ult right now? You don't feel like doing that? Word. This one's not that bad, I'd have to say. Um, I think our strategy should work for the next stage, too. Uh, we're just going to kill everyone, and then we'll have a uh, Rue that can constantly take her out of stealth. It doesn't seem like she's... She's doing a decent amount of damage. She needs to die, though. She definitely 100% needs to die. Jacqueline is literally there just to be troublesome. And she just attacked and didn't go stealth. So that means that, you know, it's not as messed up as it seems. I just got unlucky for those first couple rounds. Why is it Kali though? Like that's so annoying. It's it's honestly it's honestly the problem with it is like I feel like they just took like the best of that like tie. Like then why wasn't the water Tayo like <laughs> instead for Dandy? Like uh. Wait what? Why can't I do this? Oh, the writing on the wall is stupid. Uh, it's not it's not considered a cone attack. Like what? Protect them over here so they don't like get one shot. Uh, why, why game? Why, why? And he did kill. Oh, I don't know. I think I have to restart. Because Eamon just was too good. He helps you kill the Ramu too easily. This hurts so bad. It hurts so bad, man. I didn't want to do it. But they forced my hand. I went in here with Team Looming Death. Looming death, looming death, weekend BS, tank BS. Hopefully nothing happens, but if it does, we still have some backup BS. I couldn't take it anymore. I couldn't take it. So I went the slow, 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 slowest route possible. The goal here is that Kali is single target. So in this stage, I'll kill everyone with looming death, which I have, as you can see. And then I'll just have Elizabeth extend the taunt so she can't ever hit anyone that's not him. <laughs> that is the strategy. And I don't care. I don't care at all. Two health bars of doing this. This is it. That's all I've been doing. <laughs> what? There goes 18. I only gotta do it one more time. Fun. Fun. They brought back Ian, but it's whatever. They can't kill this quad. I switched out Rue for Electra to make it a little bit quicker because I realized that I didn't need Rue. So just gonna bring in a little bit more DPS. And yeah, we're just gonna cheat to Kali. See you there. <laughs> well guys, it was a nice uh, try. But uh, this is the roadblock I got caught on. And that, that, that's gonna be ending. I've been trying to do this for hours. Um, but pretty much, everyone knows the trick. <clears throat> you unlock, if you're locked, it will target this character. If you unlock, it will try to target the stealth character but Kali keeps stealthing and nothing will let me actually unstealth her <laughs> no matter how many times it always targets him because he's the visible guy she keeps going stealth I get poisoned I can't heal fun times because this guy doesn't want to fall into the looming death he won't he won't counterattack me so I can't trigger the weaken so that's going to be it. I could definitely beat it, but I'm just, I'm done. <laughs> oh man, these last couple ones have just been some type of, special type of torture, man. The Verdandi and um, this one is definitely, uh, definitely the strongest ones. All the other ones, all the other ones just don't feel as hard as this, this does. Uh, so I'm going to keep playing it out a little bit. And yeah, let's just see how it goes.
And that's pretty much how it goes. It's not worth it. Um, it's not worth it for me to keep trying. I could I could probably come up with a better offensive team, but this is all I'm going to get, and it's just not worth it. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video so far. I'm going to go work on some other stuff. It's way later in the day. I didn't want to spend all, all day on this. Um, but, of course, you guys let me know what you guys picked in your teams. And, oh, my God. But I do think that the difficulty of what it is would be good. But if the reward was better, I would definitely opt to do them every week. But outside of doing the videos for them, I probably will never do 16, floor 16 through 20. I just won't. There's no point. These these rewards are just not that good. <laughs> just they're not. They're just not good. And this thing, every time I did it, just rolled on SR. So it's like, eh. Eh, not really that worth it. There's so much better I could have done. And this is, every time I failed this, is 70 stamina. Yeah, not worth it. It's just not, it's not worth it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, definitely want to do my, I actually don't know what, I was going to say summons, but summons are going to be for something else. Um, I don't need the summon. So, oh, yeah, the next video will be Arachnia. We're going to go do her dungeon. That's what I would have probably was going to spend more time today. I didn't think that the fire one would be hard because I had decent fire units. Letting Nikita die was just not a good idea. But again, if you like the video, feel free to like and subscribe to the content. I hope you guys do and enjoy. And of course, I will always have to mention the Patreon is still there as well. Even $1 can go a long way. And I will see you guys in the next video. Nights. Fuck, Kali. I hate her so much. I actually don't do her advent dungeon, by the way. Don't. I can't. I can't stand that stealth mechanic. I can't. Can't. Just can't stand it. Nope. And she has a resolve, so I would have.